Hi guys and welcome to the introduction video of Robo G3. Robo G3 is a new software from Avishkar Bob which lets you program the SR brain as well as the E series brain. In addition to that, there have been a few additions to the programming blocks of Robo G SR. Robo G3 is an upgrade to Robo G SR. I will first walk you through the interface for programming the SR brain. Then we are going to see how to program for E series brain. So click on SR 1.0 mode. Here you can see on the left is the context area where we have two new options communication and devices control lets you make all the logical decisions motor lets you program the motors sensor lets you program all for all the sensor ports display is for programming the touch screen variable context area is for creating new variables you can manage your variables from here you can create them you can delete them function context area is to create functions delete functions you can use them in your program from this area communication is a new feature added to robo g and devices is in development it will be available soon so now coming to the control context area you can see there are two new blocks time and break in this video i am only going to talk about the new programming blocks included in robo g3 if you want to know about the old programming blocks you can watch one of my previous videos the link to the video is in the description so now let us talk about each context area in details but before proceeding further let us see what is new with variable block in roboj sr you had an option to create a variable but in roboj3 you can specify if it is a local variable or a global variable i'll give the value to count as 2000 now there is a new variable block it's called assign so what assign does is it lets you assign a new value to the variable without performing any arithmetic operations on it for example the value of count is 2000 if i use assign count equals to 5000 now my count variable becomes 5000 now what is a global variable so i am going to create count2 as a global variable so guys the difference between a local variable and a global variable is that if i want to use a local variable inside another function i have to declare it again and initialize it however i can use my global variable in any of the functions without having to declare them again i will create a void function test i have count to here because count to is a global variable i do not need to declare it again i do not need to assign it again i can create n number of functions and count to will be available to me in all the functions if i want to use count inside the function then i have to initialize it and declare it inside the function so now count is available to me inside this function now coming back to the control context area this is the same as using the variable count so now instead of giving a constant value for time you can also pass a variable to the time block this program is going to move the motor connected to port 1 in clockwise direction for 2 seconds which is the same as this program because we have initialized count as 2000 break is used to break from loops we have two type of loop blocks in robo g while and while forever a while loop can be broken by specifying a condition which becomes true or false after a number of time but while forever cannot so let me show you how to break a while forever loop using the break programming okay so when this program is going to run my motor is going to move in clockwise direction for four seconds then count is going to become greater than three and we are going to break from the while forever loop and the stop block will stop the motor okay so now let us talk about what's new in the motor context area in roboji sr and e series you can control the speed of the motors connected to port 2 3 and 4 so if you select port 2 or 3 or 4 you will get an option to select the speed at which you want to rotate the motor there are two new blocks first is motor by count motor by count is also available on port 2 3 and 4 count is the measure of one 360 degree rotation by the motor if i specify one here then I am saying that my motor connected to port 2 will rotate in clockwise direction for 360 degrees 1. I can also choose to control the count of two motors simultaneously. Motor by degree measures the degree by which a motor has rotated. I can specify any number of degree in multiples of 45 from the minimum being 45 and maximum being 360. Again I can choose to do it for two motors. So if I specify one in motor by count and 360 degrees in motor by degree so both are going to do the same function then coming to the sensor context area in Roboji SR sensor 1 supported three types of sensors that were infrared touch and sound 
and sensor 3 supported 5 types of sensor that were infrared touch sound color and ultrasonic in RoboG3 two new sensors have been added to all five sensor ports sensor port 1 and 2 now support infrared sound touch temperature and humidity sensor port 3 to 5 now support infrared sound touch ultrasonic color temperature and humidity sensor coming to the display area display read touch and configure display are the same as RoboG SR one new block clear screen has been added in clear screen you can choose to clear the whole screen or a particular area or a cell of the screen in this dialog you can specify the area which you want to clear or you can also choose to clear an entire row or a column now coming to the communication context area this is a new feature added to RoboG the SR brain and the E-series brain have the capability to talk to each other so let me walk you through the programming blocks so for two brains to talk to each other one has to be set up as a server the other one has to be set up as a client first let us do a program to set up our SR brain as a server so let us set up our SR brain as a server the length of the password must be 8 or more characters here choose server now in while forever we are going to read the data which is coming to our server the server cannot connect to a client on its own a server has to wait for a client to connect to it so basically when you are initializing your SR brain as a server you are creating a hotspot from your SR brains and other brains are going to join that Wi-Fi network and automatically connect with your SR brain first I initialized my SR brain as a server the name of the Wi-Fi network which my brain is going to create is Avishkar the password is 12345678 continuously I am going to read for any data which I might receive through my Wi-Fi module the data which I am receiving is the packet here denoted as PKT so if the packet equals to a string M1 then the motor connected to port 1 will start moving in clockwise direction now let us see the program for initializing our control panel as a client choose client now when we are initializing our control panel as a client we need to connect to a Wi-Fi network so connect device SSID would be Avishkar password would be 12345678 then send packet M1 close Wi-Fi which is going to switch off my control panel's Wi-Fi or if I am expecting a packet in return then using while forever I can also read for any incoming Wi-Fi data if packet equals to M2 move M2 in clockwise direction else stop M2 so this is all about communication next let us see how to switch to E series mode switch mode and there you have it there are few changes in the display context area and communication context area the E series has a 14 cross 6 LCD value LCD text and clear LCD now by using the value block I can print the value of count in any of the rows the first row is reserved for displaying system information so only five rows are available for programming you can choose any of the rows you can choose any of the rows to display the value of count in LCD text you can program the whole screen in clear LCD gives you the option to clear whole screen or clear any particular row now coming to communication it works the same as it works in the SR series only you do not have a stop Wi-Fi block in E series mode this means that you cannot switch off the Wi-Fi of your E series brain I am going to do a separate video on the communication feature later I hope you enjoyed this video it was informative for you thank you for watching take care